I'm gonna show you how to place icons anywhere you want, without the need to have your iPhone jailbroken and without the wallpaper method. Let's get started. What's going on guys, this is Apple Fox channel here and this trick is just amazing. It works even if you lock and unlock your iPhone, you can see that uh, the page or the blank icon is actually right there. As you can see, there was the glitch going on, but anyways, it works kind of fine. You know, like considering that it is a glitch, it works really well. So I'm gonna show you how you can do it right now. But first of all, if you are new to the channel, start by pressing the big button under the video that says subscribe in order not to miss anything important in the future. Let me show you that this device is running the latest version of iOS. Before this video, I already made a review of the iOS 11.2.2, .2, so it works on the latest version of iOS. So don't worry that it doesn't work anymore on the latest release or anything like that. First of all, if you want to have the icons placed anywhere on the home screen, you need to enable reachability at first. So you do it like this on the iPhone 10. And if you don't have the iPhone 10, you just have to double tap the home button and that's gonna make the icons come down. And on the iPhone 10, if this doesn't seem to be working, then you have to go to the settings and actually enable the reachability. So you have to open it like this, then head over to the general section, accessibility, and here you should be seeing that reachability is turned on on my device. So if you have it like this, make sure it is turned on. And now let's come back to the home screen and let's continue with the trick. So basically make the icons do this, and now you have to hold down to one of these icons and actually move it over another one in order to create a folder. So we have to do it like this, and once it is in a folder, it is okay. So as you can see, if we come back, you can see that there is this blank spot, but this is not it, because it hasn't been finished. You can see if I swipe right here, you can see that it came back, so this is not the thing that we wanted to do. But if you notice that, you can see that in the finance folder is the very same icon that we have right here. So there are two very same icons present on my home screen. So this already is a really nice and really interesting glitch. But anyways, now grab this icon right here, like hold down to it in order to make it wiggle, and move it somewhere else. It doesn't really matter, you can move it right next to it. And at this point of time, it's kind of hilarious because you can see that we have three of the very same icons. If we let it go like this, you can see that we only have this one and uh, the missing spot is right there. So let's hit done and it is completely okay. And you are ready to go basically. This is the glitch that I wanted to show you guys. It's that easy. And it of course works on the latest version of iOS. But now let me show you what it actually looks like when you try to move those applications around or how it basically works. So let's for example grab the messages right here. And if we do this, you can see that it's not possible to actually lose the blank spot. You know, like it's going to move somewhere else, but you won't lose it. So that is the cool thing about it. And of course, the folder that I've just created doesn't have to be there. So you can take the application out of it and, you know, like have it just like it was before with the difference that now there is a blank icon. I mean, to be exact, it is not a blank icon because in the old version, when we wanted to place the icons anywhere on the home screen, we were using the screenshot and the blank icons. It is not here. So as you can see, if, you, if I swipe, you know, like there isn't anything. So it is really cool, guys. I would never believe that something like this would be possible on the iPhone 10. So it's really cool and it is the iOS 11.2.1 .1 is the latest release. So I don't actually think that it will get patched soon, maybe when the next version drops, but I don't see it to be anywhere soon, you know, like it's gonna be really great if this stays on our iPhones for such a long time. So just for the sake of this video, let's create another one right here. So reachability, we have to take, for example, the App Store app, it doesn't matter as I already mentioned, and move it over to this folder. So I have to place it inside and you know, like it doesn't always work that well, but once you get it to work, it's gonna be fine. So we have this page and now there isn't the clear spot. So we have to do it one more time. As you can see, it doesn't always work. So you have to play around with it. Did you see that? The Stocks app actually wants to come back to the old place. So it's really cool and interesting, you know, like as you can see, it is a really nice glitch. But let's do it one more time. So reachability, we have to grab this icon right here and move it over to another one. And let's create a folder and put it inside. And if we come back to the home screen, you can see that there is this blank spot. 
So if we swipe just like this, you can see that it came back. We have two of the very same icons here and we just have to move it. So now I finally managed to get it to work, you know. It's not that easy, however, when you already have one blank space on the home screen, but I managed to do it. So as you can see, there is another blank spot. First of all, it looks like that the iPhone is jailbroken, but then you take a look at it and you find out that it is the iPhone X, so it's not possible to jailbreak it. So then you're gonna think about uh, the possibility of the wallpaper method being applied in this. And if you scroll just like this, you can see that there are no blank icons. So as you can see, there isn't really anything, and that is the reason why this feature or this glitch is really cool, and that is the reason why I like it so much. And that is the end of this video, guys. I want to say thank you very much for watching, and just like every time, I'm gonna tell you that you need to subscribe to the Apple Fox channel, because I post a lot of app-related videos, tips and tricks just like this one, and you may be interested in that. Anyways, have a nice day, and see you in the next video.